A crime alert tonight in Orange County. Deputies are looking for whoever killed a woman along Brown Road in Hurdle Mills. We first broke this story last night. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy is live at the scene. And Kelly, we now know who this woman is. Yes, we do. And an off-duty deputy who happened to be driving through this neighborhood is the one who found Ann Fitzpatrick here on the front lawn. Ann Kirkpatrick, I'm sorry. And friends and neighbors tell me they were afraid to speak on camera because they know the killer is still out there somewhere on the loose. The 46-year-old woman lived at this home on Brown Road. Friends say Kirkpatrick was an animal lover. Today, they were working to find homes for the dozens of farm animals she left behind. <laughs> Orange County Animal Control confiscated some that were inside the home. Friends claim Kirkpatrick had marital problems. I went to the Orange County Courthouse to see what I could find out. I learned she recently filed two domestic violence orders of protection. One against her estranged husband, Thomas Kirkpatrick, and another against a man named Timothy Parnell from Roxborough. Both orders were filed within a week of each other in July. According to the documents, Kirkpatrick says her husband strangled her and threatened her. In the order, Kirkpatrick Patrick claims her husband was hospitalized multiple times and had threatened suicide. Documents show the couple had been separated. Kirkpatrick wanted the court to evict her husband from the home. Records show the court did grant that order in August. The other restraining order was also granted. It claimed Timothy Parnell became Kirkpatrick because she looked at another man and then assaulted her. Now, I tried to track down Thomas Kirkpatrick and Timothy Parnell, but I was unable to find either man. Now, I did learn that this is the first homicide or murder in the Hurdle Mills area since they've been keeping electronic records, so that's since 2001, so for at least 18 years. For now, reporting live in Orange County, I'm Kelly Kennedy for CBS 17 News.